hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back for a different video today i've not done these before this is my first styling haul charity shop i don't even know it's a charity shop and car boot styling haul basically um because the amount of stuff i've accumulated over the past two weeks is kind of crazy but i've spent next to no money next to no money like the stuff I've picked up, I, I bang on about it all the time, but the stuff I've picked up is just insane. Also, I've straightened my hair. I've not straightened my hair for maybe, what, like six months? And, I mean, my, I know my hair's long, but this is crazy. Like, my hair's crazy, crazy long at the minute. Oh, I am so, so excited to show you all of these bits. So the, all of the bits I've grabbed are all like locally sourced, locally sourced charity shops and locally sourced car boots. Um, yeah, if I could give anybody like advice for grabbing new summer bits in a budget, then just please go to your local car boots and charity shops because they are so, they're just so amazing. They're so fun. They're like a nice day out and... You just never know what you might find, girls. You never know what you might get. Oh, before I actually get into the haul, um, I just want to talk about these leggings. I've had these leggings, these gym leggings, for... Uh, I've had them since August last year. And they were sent to me, they were gifted to me by a... I think they're a Swedish company. But they're called Stronger. And these are the best gym leggings ever. Like, this might be a bit TMI, but I hate gym leggings that have, like, a seam up the front. Ooh, nobody wants a seam up the front like where is that going not nice places um and these oh these are just so so comfy so the matching top i've got it here let me go the matching top is literally the same as the top i've got on but this is like a jimmier version but i just pop it on with like, like a little primark tee vest when i'm in my comfies because sometimes that's a little bit like like clenched in i'm going to the gym or i'm going somewhere this is a bit more comfier but I'm sorry, I just like to talk about them because they're so gorgeous. I used to have a code of them, but I don't think I have it anymore. But yeah, I'll link them, I'll link this set in the description box below so you can shop if you want to. So I guess I'm gonna shut up rambling now and jump straight into the video. Mm. Okay guys, we're starting off really, really strong. Um I have no words. I have no words. I love pink and orange pink and orange i just think they are like the most elite summer colors separately put them together and it's just an absolute dream like oh by the way i've got a mirror right in front of me so if i'm not looking that way that's why but how stunning is this outfit so this is the orange like primark cami that i got in the charity shop in my previous video so this top was 30p i think 30p and I've paired them with my pink Zara jeans. These are just a staple in my wardrobe at the minute. I'm, I'm just wearing them with everything. I think if you're gonna buy something fast fashion or you know, something brand new, I think if you know you're gonna get loads of wear out of it and you know it's gonna be a staple in your wardrobe, then it's worth buying and that's what these are for me. And they are just so stunning. So I've paired them both with this little um, silver M necklace that my mum bought me couple of months ago my new pink um, pride bag again uh, this was second hand from what are they called totally sustainable on depop so it's not it's tote is in like a tote bag so totally sustainable on depop they rework loads of our makeup bags and make them into like cute little shoulder bags so that is my handbag and then i've also got on some i think it's lily and vetterberg jewelry um this was again kindly gifted to me last year so this is like a tiger ring and the matching tiger earrings super cute and i've gone a little bit crazy and i've dressed them up with some white heels you can't really see but i'm going to insert pictures um of me actually styling them up for an instagram picture next to me so you'll get this full look with the shoes on when you see the video but Oh, I just love this. I think like going out for brunch, day drinks, really, really cute. These little white shoes, by the way, are old River Island. I mean, I would never even think to go to River Island anymore, but to be fair, these shoes are really, really lovely. But yes, this is my first look. 
So on to outfit number two. This, I think this one is probably my proudest finds because mo almost this whole outfit is charity shop. Like before it was just the top, but this, this top, the trousers, the shoes, this whole look is all car boot and charity shop. So I'm gonna start with this top. This top, this top is from Free People and I got it in the car boot and it had the tag on it still, like the label on it still. And it said it retailed at $38. I don't know what that is in pounds, but it had the tag on it still saying $38 because you can get it in Urban Outfitters, can't you? But um, yeah, this, this top's Free People and it was two pounds. It's got this really beautiful, like, like, you know, like on the Gymshark leggings, you've got that breathable fabric. This bodysuit, well, it's not a bodysuit, it's like a top, but it looks like a bodysuit, has the same sort of thing here. And I just, oh my God, I couldn't not get it. I saw three people and I was like, if I like the top or not, I'm getting it because it's just so beautiful. Oh, I got another thing from three people. I've not styled this up, but I'll show you it because, oh, again, it's just so, like, insane that I've got this in the car boot. So this, again, has the same sort of breathable um, pockets in the fabric. It's like a crossbody, um, almost like a sports bra, but I'd wear this as a top on a night out. I used to wear a top like this um, going out all the time with flowery like flares. But this is like an updated version, I guess. And it is, oh, look, the tag is on it. The tag is literally still on it. Three people. I don't know if that'll focus, probably not, but three people, it's extra small and it retails at $58. This was a pound, this was two pound. So crazy, so yeah, got that little three people top as well. But back to this outfit, yes, this top is three people from the car boot for a pound and these leather trousers, oh my God, right. These are real leather, which I know is a little bit controversial, but these are vintage real leather trousers and these were £15 which is the priciest thing that I have got but I think for real leather I mean you'd normally pay a ridiculous amount more for that like if I find these in a vintage shop you're paying what 60 70 quid even so yeah they are a little bit like a little bit camel toe but what can you do like how did how does that how do you fix that? I think it is because I have such wide hips. I do have such wide hips and I have the same problem in jeans and sort of tight fitting trousers like this. I used to have a pair of red leather trousers and they did the same thing, but these are so stunning. I'm, I'm a tall girl, so I'm like 5'8". I think I'm like 5'8", yeah. Um, and these fit me perfectly on the leg. Like they go all the way down to the floor with heels on and even with trainers they sit perfectly sort of covering the trainers like you know that sort of pinteresty look um but yeah i've styled these with heels and these heels are a car boot find too i'm not going to be able to show you them very well because that's not full length but i'm going to try my hardest without actually falling over these are black tie-up sandals like straight out of sarah ashcroft's wardrobe sort of black strappy sandals and oh my god right they're urban outfitters let me grab you the box these shoes are urban outfitters they came in the box and they were five pounds five pounds and they're brand new i opened up the box when i got home and they've still got them on now but on the bottom of the shoe it still has the barcode and the price on it and they uh, were £40 and this guy was just selling them for a fiver and he had two pairs. But yes, came in the box, brand new. I'll, I've taken a bit of a close-up picture in them, but as always with all of these outfits, I'm going to be adding pictures as I go. But I just couldn't believe it. Like, it's, I think it's so good to get a stable pair of like strappy heels. Like now I've got a white pair and a black pair. I'm sort of sorted now for like going out shoes like clubbing shoes because these are a really lovely height they're a little kitten heel and i'm so grateful that kitten heels are in fashion because i can't walk in heels for one and two i actually don't need the height with actual proper high heels on i'm like six foot i'm just, it's just and i tower over my boyfriend and he hates me when i'm that tall so 
yeah i'm just obsessed obsessed with this it's obviously a darker look which means it's more maybe like a an evening meal or evening drinks like i wouldn't wear this out in the day i'd only wear this in the evening or like in the autumn but um i just oh, i love it i love it i feel like a dark haired sarah ashcraft I just can't believe I picked this up and I paired it with my vintage, um, is it pochette? You know them, it's like it, pochette, it's like P-O-C-H-E-T-T-E by, I don't know, but it's a little vintage Fendi. I love her and I've put on my um, puka shell choker. This is just from Amazon, this is like £4. And then my And Other Stories gold hoops, wear these every day. I've worn these every single day since Christmas and not one bit of gold has come off. Like, they're so good. Really good quality earrings. And I was thinking, if you really wanted to go crazy, you could pair it with this blazer. I mean, I pair this blazer with everything, so you're probably so fed up with seeing this on my Instagram. But it's just such a staple, like, you know, just like over the shoulder, like that. Ooh! This is so beautiful. It's my boyfriend's birthday next month, so I'm thinking this might be the outfit for drinks. Or actually, no, maybe not. Because I'm gonna sit down and I might be a bit like, mm, gonna pop out. But I really wanna get some wear out of this outfit when, you know, clubs are open, I think. How beautiful. Oh, with a blazer as well. I just feel so bougie. This blazer was a charity shop find too. And it's such a good dupe for the end of the stories one. I know my friend Lily has the end of the stories blazer like this. Um, but this was four pounds for the cancer research, so steal again. But yeah, that is outfit number two. So outfit number three, I've tied my hair back for this one because we're embracing and manifesting all the beach vibes, all the summer holidays that we probably won't ever get to go on again. But I'm trying to relive that fantasy at home while it is chugging it down with rain. But we move. If you watched my last video, you'll remember this bikini top and you'll remember the vibe that I was just imagining and thinking of. I've recreated it and I found, so I got these in the car boot, I got these in the charity shop last week and you can see that um, in my charity shop vlog, which I posted, I think last Wednesday. Um, and yeah, I've just paired it with this white shirt. So this shirt is just one of my dad's old work shirts. So. It might not be the brightest of whites, but I just thought, you know, that sort of off-duty but still, like, by the beach look. But I think you can still get away with this in the UK when it is boiling hot. Like, you're going to a friend's barbecue, like a sort of party barbecue, but it's going to be hot. And you just want to be a bit summer, but a bit stylish, you know what I mean? So, I feel like this is just, oh, it's so, so cute. If you see my last vlog, then you'll know how obsessed I am with this bra top. And I was like, mm, my boobs aren't that big. Like, they're not going to get there. Girls, I put two extra bits of padding in just this. And I think I can get away with it. I think I can. Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. Maybe I can't. Maybe I'm fooling myself. But, you know, just for a picture or, you know, if you really want, if I really wanted to go out in this, I could get them sewn into the bra. So it'd be like a... You know, like in Primer where you get the 2XL extra push-up bras that I used to wear when I was like 12 and you'd be breaking your back at school trying to look like you've got these Pam Randerson boobs when I really didn't. So yeah, this is the sort of look. I've paired it again with my gold and other stories hoops and I've styled it on my Instagram sort of like, like with these bits showing. What I did is I rolled these parts up so they have a bit of grip on my thighs. Pulled them all the way up to my hips because that's the most flattering look on me. And then just sort of like roll them down. Oh my God. Am I in Nottingham or am I on a beach in Spain? I think I'm on a beach in Spain today, to be honest. And I'm just going to live out that fantasy. Look. I mean, look at the matching pants. Oh, I just want to wear this on a holiday. So, so stunning. Oh, they're just beautiful. So beautiful. The bikini was, I think I said in my last video, they were it was a pound. I think it was a pound. Wouldn't have been any really more than that for the set. And then the shorts were 50p from the car boot. So, such a steal. But again, 
like the leather trousers, we've got sort of a camel situation going on. I can't even do a lot there. A little bit of a camel situation, but I think that's passable, isn't it? It's not like in your face, in your face, but yeah, you could tie it if you wanted to, like that. I quite like just having it. Oh, that's actually, that's quite nice. It knits me in at the waist a bit more, that. But yeah. I, would, I do like the look of just having it open with some like Birkenstocks or something that would look so, so pretty. So yeah, I think that, that's it for outfit. Is that outfit number three? I think that's outfit number three. Oh, I just love the colours. They're so Pinterest, aren't they? This bra is just, oh, stunning, stunning. Okay, outfit number four. Right, so I'm back in heels for outfit number four got my little white river island heels on again um and this this is this is a different sort of vibe for me i'm gonna be honest like i found these are again you can't really see the full thing but these white uh leggings are sort of like they um, cut off just over your knee and i've always been quite skeptical of these sorts of leggings because i don't know they i've just found them to be slightly um, not very flattering but these ones, with the right outfit, I think are so beautiful. So I've paired these, uh, are another car boot find, white, these are just from Primark, but they're a car boot find, white, uh, uh, over the knee leggings. And these were, I think these were 50p again. So I've got these leggings, the jeans, the jean shorts, and another dress from the same lady. This is the other dress I got. And I'm I'm kind of gutted about this. So this is brand new. Oh, oh, it's stuck on me. This is brand new Princess Polly. Like it's got the tag on it still. Princess Polly, red little tie dress. Oh, but it's a size six. There's no way my body is getting into a size six no more. I'm not built like that no more, unfortunately. So, um, with a heavy heart, I'm selling this one. Um, I've got it up on my eBay at the minute, so I'll leave the link for my eBay for this dress in the description below. Um, oh, sorry, I've just been distracted because my mum is leaving the house and she's wearing my North Face jacket. Okay. She looked back, so she knows I'm not happy. Hmm. Back to what I was saying, back to what I was saying. Princess Polly, yeah, it's going to be up on my eBay. I know I've already got two people bidding for it right now. Um, I think the listing ends next Monday and this video should be up on Friday or Saturday. So, yeah, I'll put it in my bio. So you can go and grab this Princess Polly dress if you like it and it's your size. I mean, Princess Polly is so hard to get hold of, isn't it? Because don't you have to pay, like, um, import taxes? So the dresses are sort of reasonable, they're like motel rocks, or like 35 to 50 pounds. Um, but I'm almost certain you pay import tax on top of it, which is why I've always been so skeptical from buying from there, but have really wanted to. So when I saw this, I was like, <gasps> but then I saw it was a size six, I was like, oh, okay. But yeah, gotta be on my eBay guys, go and check it out if you're interested. Um, but yeah, back to this outfit. I styled it with these white crop leggings, my mum's, I've just called mum out for stealing my North Face, but I am wearing a white shirt, so maybe maybe we forgive her today. We'll forgive her for today. So I'm wearing my mum's huge, huge white Zara shirt. So this is massive. She's had this for about a year now, and it goes like all the way down to like like here when you just wear it normally. It's really, really long. But I wanted to find a way to style it up because mum doesn't really wear it anymore because it is so big. Um, so I just thought this was such a perfect way to style it. Um, I've styled it with this green little top, which is again a car boot find. This was 50p again, and it's got like little abacus, abacus things on the straps. You know, like when you was little. So beautiful. And this is actually um, a swimming costume top. So it's like a swimming costume fabric, and I think swimming costume fabric, it is amazing. If I'm going clubbing, this is probably really, really gross, but if I'm going clubbing and I know I'm going, if I used to, when I used to go to like stealth all the time, I always used to wear a swimming costume top because I know how sweaty I'd get and how hot it would be in there. At least if I've got something like this on, 
I'm, it's going to absorb it a bit more or I'm not going to be like a sweaty mess as much. So if you're like just turning 18 and you're getting ready to go clubbing, get yourself some swimming costume tops to go out in because they're so beautiful and they're just, I think they're just so handy. I think they're really, really handy. That's from one sweaty girl to another. If you need some help, if you're a sweaty girl like me, get yourself some costume top to go out in. But yeah, I've just paired this with uh, the white heels, the white crop leggings, and this stunning like slinky gold chain that my boyfriend's parents bought me for Christmas. Again, gold and other stories who was my go-to. We literally couldn't live without them. And I was kind of stuck for what bag to pair with it. But I think I was gonna go for, I think I was just gonna go for a more classic one. So I think I'm going to grab my little Burberry bag. So this is vintage Burberry that my amazing auntie, Anne Marie, if you're watching, I love you. She's a, This is the first vintage bag that I've, vintage designer bag that I ever got. And this is my auntie, Anne Marie, so it's a special one. So yeah, this one, I think we're just really, just really classic. Really classic. Makes it feel more expensive, even though I am just wearing Primark leggings. But yeah. I think this one, I think this one is a really good dinner outfit. I take back what I said about the black leather trousers being a dinner outfit. This for me, this is a dinner outfit. And I think I will wear this to my boyfriend's little meal that I'm thinking of taking him on. Yeah, I think this is perfect. You've got space to eat. You're not thinking about the bloat. Your little tie bit is covering your belly if you're going to, you know, treat yourself and have what you want, which I will be. And yeah, I actually was quite surprised when I put this on with how much this sort of shirt tied together resembles that House of CB dress. If I can find the dress I'm talking about, I'll put it on screen now, but there was like a House of CB dress I, like late, very late summer last year and it was sort of like a, it was like a, a cowl sort of draped shirt dress like this and it had this sort of tie effect and I, I swear I saw Madison Sarah wearing it and it's very much that sort, I don't know, it gave me that vibe but for literally probably 10%, not even 10%, I don't even know, I didn't even pass my last GCSE so why am I trying to be doing numbers? This was, this whole outfit was probably £4 and that dress was like 100 quid. so yeah, I'm very happy with it and look, because the, the shirt is so long gives you that nice rouge and it just sits on your bum like what where did that shelf come from i've got a shelf going on here wow okay i'm loving myself in this and the pony i like the pony with it sleek long i like this i'm here for this outfit really pretty and as always everybody knows how much i love green i love it so green had to make an appearance somewhere like a bright green Finally on to the final outfit. So yes, finishing with this really beautiful green sort of shift. Well, I've made it into a sort of shift dress. Um, it actually is a green um, extra large Nike golfing top. So it's a men's and I just thought it, it fits perfectly as like an A-line shift dress. So I thought I could like smarten it up with the blazer again and I'm just obsessed with that detail. I mean that's the only bit of branding it's got on the whole outfit but look, just a little Nike embroidered logo there is just so, I think sophisticated, like really low key, like not in your face brands but oh love, love, love. And I've put on my white Nike blazers with this outfit these these are my new staple white air force ones i love them you know they're a classic but i think they've kind of been done now they've kind of been worn and overworn i think this past sort of say what like four years so i think it's really nice to start introducing some different white staple trainers and for me these white i think they're called white mid blazer 77s You'll be able to find these so easily. These are from ASOS, I think. My boyfriend's and my dad got me for Christmas, but um, I sent them the link to them, so they're off ASOS. And they're just amazing. I wear them all the time. They go with everything. And they just, I mean, I don't feel like a white Air Force trainer would make this look going outy. Do you know what I mean? But this does. This makes it feel more like fashion forward, I think. 
um, and with the blazer and the hair it just ties it all together really really well the only thing I was stuck um, to style it with was what bag again like I wasn't sure what bag I was thinking of my pink Prada but then I was like no I think the green needs to stand on its own so I thought my Gucci bag goes nice with the brown so I think you know if I was going out I would pair it with my Gucci bag this is a vintage find as well second hand all my bags are second hand so yeah please ignore my crusty white legs right now I'm so pale but I'm going out on Saturday it's my one of my friends 21st birthdays so I'm trying to save my fake tan day until is it today? It's Thursday today, so I'm going to fake tan tomorrow to go out on Saturday. The struggles of being a girl are ridiculous. But yeah, I guess that is it really. I am going to be filming a get ready with me on Saturday before I go out for my friend's 21st birthday. And I'm hoping to get that live by next Wednesday. Because um, it's in partnership with Look Fantastic. Um, and I'll be coming out with a new bank holiday code like I always do. So my code over bank holiday normally bumps up to 35% off from 20%. But that's for the get ready with me video and you'll see that next Wednesday. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video, this little styling one. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you like this style of video. This is different and a different setup. Like I've used a different area of my room, which I much prefer. Um, there's a little bit more going on, but let me know if you like that because at the minute I'm having to work with wherever the natural light is because my ring light's at uni. I'm having to work with what I've got. But I have got a new camera, if you can't tell. The, co the quality is going up, the quality is going up. So yeah, that's it then guys. Thank you for coming back to my channel and watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.